In today's video we're going to be looking at a very small add-on, but one that offers flight planners a huge boost. And in my opinion it's a big deal. It's freeware, it's from flightsim.to, link in the notes below, and as you can see it's only just released and very popular already. My name's Mark, welcome to the Sim Hangar. thank you very much for watching and let's get started. I think it would be fair to say that Simbri from Navigraph is a versatile and useful flight planning utility and used extensively in the flight sim world. But only very few aircraft have access within the sim to that information, such as the default Airbus 310 or the Phoenix Airbus 320. There are others of course, but the degree of integration varies, from importation of the flight plan as a whole to simply just access to the information. The add-on we're talking about today changes all that and provides an in-sim portal to the more commonly used information within the SimBrief plan, no matter what aircraft you're using, be it a 747 or a Cessna 152. And an important point here, this is not restricted just to airline pilots. Access to this information is useful for anybody flying IFR or instrument flight rules. Take Aerosoft CRJ-700 for example. We can do our planning in SimBrief, but we need to retain that information on a separate monitor or on a printout for entry into the FMC. This can be a pain and awkward at your flight sim desk. And this is where SimBrief Panel comes to the rescue. The small download from flightsim.to simply needs to be unzipped and the subsequent folder and contents placed in your community folder. And then whenever you load up the sim, you'll have access to the SimBrief Panel. Let's take a look. The application loads as a panel in your toolbar. There it is, let's open it up. Your first port of call will be to go to settings and it's simple and straightforward. Just enter your Navigraph or SimBrief username and you're done and you only need to do this once. Then click on fetch and it will immediately import data from your current or most recent SimBrief flight plan. The application does not load a flight plan into your aircraft, but provides access to important information so you can create that flight plan. Includes origin and destination, cost index, a breakdown of fuel, including block fuel, top of climb, wind, and most importantly, the routing for your flight plan, which will include SIDs and STARS if you've included them in your SimBrief plan. This is a massive quality of life or convenience factor. The window of course can be resized to suit your individual preferences. And what I really like is just how quick it accesses this information. The information provided will vary very slightly depending on the aircraft that you're flying. Also noted on flightsim.to the dev has already been active, put out an update or two and responding to queries and requests. I mentioned that this is great not just for airline pilots but for anybody flying IFR. Having access to this information will make your flight planning quick and easy. You could of course use this in conjunction with the flight plan created on the world map or if you prefer enter the flight plan manually. Here I'm using flow, I can see the SimBrief panel, I'm in the Diamond DA62, I've just done the flight plan in SimBrief and hit fetch and here is all the data that I require. As before I've got all my fuel information and wind etc and most importantly my routing as well. The G1000 of course supports airways so I could easily create this flight plan right now and to make it more realistic I could adjust my fuel to match all in sim. If you're using the GNS 530 or 430 you'd have to take note of any airways or fixes along the route as well as it doesn't support airways input. One question that may be on your mind is how does it operate in VR? Well in a nutshell it operates perfectly, just as it does in 2D. And being a panel, of course, it's crystal clear. You can place the panel wherever you want. You can, of course, resize it to suit. And using the mouse or the mouse wheel, you can page through to find the information that you're looking for. In terms of overall VR compatibility, I've got no hesitation in recommending it's a five star. Great implementation. Many thanks to Flying Art, the developer of this very useful utility. For more information, visit the flightsim.to website, link in the notes below. Let me know what you think of this utility, and will you be using it? 
And don't forget to drop the developer a line if there's something here that you want added. Who knows, he may be accommodating. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found this useful and informative. Don't forget to give the channel a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Helps the channel. And as always, look after yourselves. See you again soon. And bye for now.